I am very, very sorry for the way scientists are treated. You look at the countries and the labs working to develop a vaccine. We feel like it is taking a while to develop, but it's really very fast. Hospital doctors have always been well respected, but not as much as laboratory and research doctors. And I think this point of view will change. Now more than ever, we realize the importance of investing in science and technology. For me, it's amazing to see how a football player you know, is earning millions of dollars and then the scientists and the, uh, the, the med doctors that are you know, taking care of, of us are just struggling to live. So I hope this teaches which professions are bringing more value to the world. I do trust our healthcare system. I do think the best of the doctors. Maybe it's because the times are rough and I feel like uh, they struggle a lot. Maybe that's why. I do think that uh, doctors here are good and that is definitely a noble profession. I know that there are people out there uh, who are hugely dedicated and intelligent and they're all working together in, in, in teams that they didn't have before and I understand that, that we're close to, uh, to big success on many fronts so I'm, I'm very, very grateful for what they're doing. I think Spain has one of the most competitive health services on the globe but just like the whole world nobody was prepared for this awful pandemic. And moreover, I think the Spanish government was not very effective in different ways. The lockdown was decided too late. No tests were done, not even to the health staff. Right now, we are facing a lot of pressure and problems from the healthcare system in France. The sanitation the situation of hospitals in France are, is really problematic. I think it's a tough problem. I wouldn't have approached it the same way. It seemed like we were the government here was pretty loose at first to try to tackle the problem. I would have expected it to have been uh, easier to uh, create a vaccine and faster. And I would have thought there would have been uh, some kind of cure or better treatment than, um, than a ventilator uh, by, by this stage. Uh, doctors, nurses and the staff were not given the right weapons and protection to defend the infected and not even themselves. They, they thought, ah, oh, you know, it's just like a minor flu, we'll be okay. It took a long time until we started getting some additional measurements. For the last few years, uh, the system is complete, completely overwhelmed by uh, underpayments and a lot of uh, resignation. The financial difficulties Greece has been through are no secret and everyone obviously knows about austerity measures that were imposed on us and financial constraints. Uh, the result has been government cuts of healthcare services to the extent that there's many islands, for example, with one junior doctor working, you know, in a two room hospital by himself. The threat to our country of a global pandemic is grave. If Greece were to become an epicenter, the healthcare system would be overwhelmed very quickly. We all now appreciate the NHS and the healthcare service um, potentially so much more than we did before. But I think from a, from a government perspective, the fact that there was no planning, um, there didn't seem to be um, a strategy, there certainly wasn't enough um, protective gear. I think um, it's slightly worrying that this hadn't been planned and thought about. Um, based on science, based on history, you would have imagined that um, these conversations would have been happening and there would have been um, a better level of preparation. I guess I feel quite sorry for scientists at the moment because they're usually the first ones to say that something is wrong. They are the first ones to explain things to other people and try to make them understand what's happening and people choose to believe conspiracy theories. With the NHS, there's so much gratitude um, from the UK public towards the NHS. People have put their lives and their families' lives on the front line and they've just done an amazing job. So I think that um, we all now appreciate the NHS and the healthcare service um, potentially so much more than we did before. Now more than ever, we realize the importance of investing in science and technology. If uh, what they are saying is true, that we will have a, a vaccine by the end of the year or even next year, that's going to be record. Two and a half months with my parents. You look at the countries and the labs working to develop a vaccine, uh, it's amazing what they are doing. We feel like it is taking a while to develop, but it's really very fast. 
hospital doctors have always been well respected but not as much as laboratory and research doctors and i think this point of view will change the problem with having a future pandemic is that it could be completely different and all measures that people have been taking now for this pandemic could be tossed out of the window just because of the nature of the new pandemic. The coronavirus shows that our system has to be rebuilt. We don't pay enough the, the workers in the hospitals. The situation is critical. We have to think how to restore the greatness of the healthcare in France. It's obviously necessary in light of austerity measures and recent cuts to the healthcare system for the system to expand. Thankfully, the government has promise to do so. Whether they do or not remains to be seen. We are going to have more viruses in the future created by nature or mankind in a lab and we will have to be more prepared. I hope so.